I am so happy this day is finally here. I'm so excited to tell you all about this. This is the Boss SDE 3000 EVH Dual Digital Delay. So you heard the pedal and the sounds that it creates uh, represented loud and proud in that track at the beginning of the video. I recorded those guitar parts with the utmost love and respect in my heart uh, for my guitar hero, mentor, and friend, Eddie Van Halen. This project was a really unique collaboration between Boss and EVH, and it was a total team effort. I just want to say thank you so much to EVH and Boss, first of all, for including me in the process. It was just an honor to be a part of the team. I feel like everybody's heart was so in the right place in this project because we all have such respect, everybody involved, for Eddie Van Halen. And we knew at the end of the day that he would have had to sign off on this and be proud of it. And he wasn't a guy that let things go. So it like raised the bar and raised everybody's game and nobody was phoning it in. And we were all like just in it to win it to bring something really special uh, to the table. So there was really one goal in mind, which is to bring out a product that perfectly captures and immortalizes the classic Eddie Van Halen delay guitar sound and to make it accessible to everyone. So over months and weeks, we did rigorous testing, A, B, back and forth with Eddie's actual SDE 3000 delay units in his rack to make sure that this sonically matched up one to one and we could perfectly recreate his delay sounds. We went back and forth recreating his exact presets in this unit. So EVH one, two, three, four are included there. Plug this in, you'll experience the exact same delay settings and sounds that he used. So speaking of Eddie Van Halen's original delay units, he incorporated two SDE 3000 delay units into his rig from the mid 80s onward. So at first in a stereo rig and later on in a wet dry wet configuration. And this allowed him to achieve a sound with massive space and dimension, but still with articulation and punch. Once those delays made their way into his rig, they stayed for the remainder of his career. Many things came and went over the years with his rig, but not the delays. So this really is like having two SDE 3000s in one box essentially, but it's even better because there's some really cool routing options that you just couldn't easily do even if you had two of the original units. So for example, there's two parallel routing modes and also a series routing mode that allows you to cascade the two delays into one another for some amazing sounds. There'd be no way to do that with the original units unless you had a fairly sophisticated switching system with a uh, switcher mixer router. And also a first of its kind in a pedal like this, at least I think so, I don't think I've ever seen it before or heard of it, full on wet, dry, wet capability built right in. So a direct output for your center, and then you got split left and right outputs for the outside affected channels. If you wanna do the full on Eddie Van Halen three amp, full Monty stereo rig, you can do it with this pedal. Also full mono or stereo capability on the input. And also there's a really cool loop built in. So you can patch in overdrives, distortions, or maybe the front end preamp section of an amplifier. Uh, if you use a high gain amp, this allows you to take advantage of the pedals built in noise suppression circuit, which is awesome for quietening down any kind of preamp gain hiss or pedal hiss or anything like that. And it allows you to keep your sound super tight and articulate. So I'll demonstrate that in a bit. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Sonic. So not all digital delays are created equal. And one of the coolest things about the original SD 3000s was that they sonically just sounded stellar. The quality of the delay trails, the way they sounded when they rang out, and also just all the electronics, the capacitors and resistors and everything. It was a labor of love for Yoshi who created the original units and eventually became president of Boss. And he created something so special and so cool. It's just the Sonics are still revered to this day by guitar players and by studio engineers. It's just a great piece of gear. So that's all been faithfully recreated in this pedal. I mean, to his satisfaction, because Yoshi was a huge part of this project, and to everyone's satisfaction on the team. So we've created a player's guide for this pedal because it's a pretty deep pedal. It's down at the link in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to that guide. This video uh, loosely sort of mirrors the player's guide. What we wanted to cover was all kinds of different configurations, different scenarios that you can hook up this pedal in from mono to stereo to full wet, dry, wet and also cover things like setting levels, using the awesome internal noise suppression. And it, later in the video, I'll even take like a pretty much straight up mono delay sound and tweak it into something stereo and really special. So it's a deep dive video, but hopefully by the end of it, if you've got questions about the pedal, I've covered and answered at least most of them. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Let's get on with it. Without further ado, it is the Boss SDE 3000 EVH Dual Digital Delay. So before we move on to anything else in this video, I wanna show you how I'm recording those parts in the song at the beginning of the video, because I think it's kind of a cool way to use the delay in kind of a unique way, and you might get some inspiration on how you can incorporate the delay into your own rig. So 
I'm running the guitar into the amp. I'm going speaker output of the amp into a load box and loading down to line level. It's the Sur reactive load over here. I'm taking the line out of the reactive load and going into the input of the delay. And then I'm taking the three discrete outputs of the delay, the direct out with no effects, and the left and right affected outputs all straight into my UA recording interface. And I'm printing all three tracks, the direct out, and then the left track and the right track all to their own discrete tracks. In one side here, I've got a delay that's 385 milliseconds, time to the song. And in the other side, I've got double that, 770. And you just get this massive stereo sound. <laughs> Now, right when I got to that part, I've got another preset going here. And of course this delay's got spillover so that the delay spillover, there's no gap or anything. I just hit DDL2 and this has the output and the feedback cranked up. <laughs> So this is a really cool way that you can incorporate this delay into your rig, whether using an amp in a load box or even like a modeler, because you could come right out of the output of the modeler straight in here, take the three discrete outs into a mixer or a recording interface and end up with just a massive guitar sound. So let's talk about setting levels. You might run this delay into the front end of an amplifier or in the effect loop of an amplifier or even like maybe after a modeler or something like that. And in all those scenarios, you might want to be using a different level setting on the unit. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, right now, I've got the delay patched into the effect loop essentially of my amplifier. So PT-15 amplifier. Now this amp has quite a hot effects loop. And luckily on this delay, we got options for minus 20, minus 10, as well as line level plus four setting. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is check my levels by checking the meter. Push this little arrow right here, and no matter what preset you're on, you're gonna get an input level meter. Now you can see that the meter's going all the way out here to the, the kind of double zero setting. That means that I'm kind of nailing the delay. Let's get in and look at changing that level. So I'm gonna push setup here, that's going to get into this in and out menu. I'm going to push it one more time. And that gets us into this setting where we can check levels here and set the unity gain. This is where you set your inputs, your outputs, and then just by moving this time button here, I can get to the unity gain setting. So right now we're at minus 10. We got options for plus four, minus 10, and minus 20. I don't want to go to minus 20 because then I'd be hitting the delay even harder. So I'm going to go to plus four, line level. I push exit. This takes me back out to my level meter. And you can see that now I'm only going up into the uh, kind of the upper range, but not peaking the delay or anything like that. And you're going to notice the delay sounds a little different too. Like it might sound actually better to be hitting it really quite hard. You might like it a little better. It just sounds a little more uh, saturated, but I kind of prefer the cleaner sound of this plus four setting with where my amp is right now. Use your ears, use the level meter, and then set the levels appropriately for your rig. So you might notice when I was setting levels there that I got a little bit of hiss going on in my guitar signal, and that's just preamp gain because I'm using an extremely gainy sound with the delay right now. One really great thing about the EVH delay is they built in noise suppression into it. So if you're a rock or metal player and you use lots of gain, if you patch this delay in uh, either in the effect loop or four cable method, you could take advantage of the noise suppression circuit in the delay. So let's turn it on and I'll show you what it'll do for the sound. Right now, this is what we got. <laughs> Sounds great, we just got that hiss on the tail, right? And that's from the preamp gain on my amp. So I'm gonna push setup. That takes us into this menu here, in and out. I'm gonna move up there to master, send return, noise suppression, this is what we want. I hit setup again, that takes us into the noise suppression menu. It's right now set to off. And check that out. <laughs> 
Dead quiet on the repeats now. So if you're a rock or metal player that either uses distortion boxes, fuzzes, or a high gain amplifier, this is like your dream delay. I mean, it is gonna allow you to add delay to your sound, but tighten things up so much and clean things up. So the thing about wet dry wet, there's just kind of no way around it. Once you play it, it's hard to do anything else because it's so spacious, so powerful, and so dimensional. It's just an awesome, awesome guitar sound. And this is the first product that I've ever heard of that was really designed to be able to functionally give a guitarist a wet dry wet rig without needing a whole bunch of extra stuff. With this delay, you finally got a way to get to wet dry wet. The sonic results are just unprecedented. So how have I got this all hooked up? Okay, follow along with me here. I'm coming out of this beautiful Wolfgang guitar. This was a gift from Ed and Matt Brock at EVH many years ago, and I, I love this guitar. Anyway, so I'm coming out of the guitar into the delay pedal. I'm coming out of the effects loop send the, of the delay pedal into the front of my amplifier. I'm sending out of the effect loop send from the amp back in to the loop return on the pedal. And then on the back of the pedal, I've got three discrete outputs, okay? The direct output, one of which is feeding this main amplifier head, and then I've got left and right effect outputs, which are feeding these two amplifiers right here. Just add speaker cabinets and you've got a massive wet, dry, wet guitar sound. One important thing to take note of is there was still plenty of dry signal in those outer channels. The actual term that I would use to describe the rig would be mix, dry, mix, as opposed to wet, dry, wet. It's a little more accurate because it's not just effect in those outside left and right channels. Plenty of dry signal mixed in there as well. And if you experiment with the EVH presets that come on the unit, you'll find that there's plenty of dry mixed into those left and right channels. We set up the EVH presets to basically mimic one to one dead nuts what Eddie's rig does. Hook up the three amplifiers and you're able to experience the exact same live sound that Ed had. So while I've got the whole wet dry wet setup going here, let me show you the four EVH presets that are meant to be used with wet dry wet rigs. EVH preset number one is kind of a long delay with discrete uh, right and left delays, different delay times in the right and left channels and it's like an extremely fun sound to play and just really dimensional. <laughs> EVH2 is a similar sound, but the delay times are set a little faster. Equally cool, just a slightly different effect. With EVH3, the delay times get a little faster, and it's a little more of a kind of a great always-on setting, really. You could leave this on and just use it for ambience because it's a little more subtle than uh, the first two that I showed you. EVH4, this is a mono preset. It's just a straight up mono echo up the middle and it uses a delay time that showed up commonly in early Eddie Van Halen recordings and songs. So it sounds something like this. <laughs> EVH5 
EVH presets five to eight. Now to access those, you just push the EVH button here. It turns from red to green, and then you can select using the preset buttons here to get to the different presets. So these presets are exactly the same as one through four, but they're tweaked to work with more typical mono or stereo guitar rigs. We just changed the output mix levels a little bit to compensate for not having a center dry cabinet signal. We recognize that not everybody might go the full Monty and do a full wet dry wet rig. So give EVH presets five through eight to try if you got a more typical amp setup. Let's talk about stereo rigs. So in this example, I'm using my guitar into the pedal. I'm sending out of the pedal's effect send, going into the front of the amplifier, taking the amplifier's effect send back into the return of the pedal. And then I'm taking both outputs left and right out of the pedal into the effect return of the main amp and the effect return of a second amp. And in this setup, I get stereo with no pedal on. It sounds like a, like a big fat mono guitar sound. Turn on the pedal, and now I get all the dimension of the bouncing around stereo delays. Once again, you can hear the delay tails, everything's super quiet, and that's because I'm using the pedals noise suppression circuit. I've got that patched in, and it just keeps everything tight and quiet. And even in stereo, without the center drive signal, you get a, a still a really defined, awesome sound. <laughs> So mono rig utilizing the amps effects loop. So for this, I'm plugging the guitar into the pedal, taking the send out of the pedal into the input of the amp. I'm taking the send out of the back of the amplifier, the effects send, back into the pedal return. And then I'm taking the left mono output of the pedal back into the amplifier's effects return. And so now I've got mono. I'm utilizing one of the EVH presets for this sound, EVH number five. This is one of the tweaked uh, four presets that we made to work with mono and stereo rigs and even though the delays are getting collapsed down to mono for this sound It still sounds really really cool. Once again, I'll turn the pedal on and off. Here's the way it sounds without it Turning it on Last up, straight up simple mono rig, couldn't be easier than this. I'm running the guitar into the pedal and then I'm taking the left mono output of the pedal straight into the front of my amp and it sounds like this. <laughs> So we've gone over the eight EVH presets that are included in the EVH delay. Let's talk about some of the other presets now that we've made for the unit. Uh, starting from uh, A01 through B4, there's eight presets that the team has created. And the goal here was to make kind of a greatest hits or smorgasbord of delay sounds, all the way from simple mono echoes through to uh, you know ambient, stereo, modulated, and filtered good stuff. Just to give you an idea of the range of the pedal. This is a highly capable delay. There's a lot of parameters that you can get into and get in there and adjust. 
Uh, and the idea here was let's make eight sounds that would be a great leaping off or starting place for most people's delay needs. Then they can get in there, just make some subtle modifications to, to the presets, store them to a memory location, and probably have everything they need. So the first sound we made is a straight up simple, quick, fast echo. And this is great for like rockabilly or old rock and roll kind of stuff. <laughs> Preset A2 is a straight up simple mono echo with a quarter note tap. There's no mod or no filters or anything like that on that sound, just a straight up digital echo with a few repeats, but it's a great starting off point to make your own sounds out of. So I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll tweak that into something really unique and special. Let's go to preset A3. Okay, this is a, once again straight up digital echo, but I've used some of the filters in this to add a little bit of a, a filtered delay tail that kind of gets more mid-rangey as the delays echo out. So I'm going to turn up the feedback now and you're going to hear that effect more prominently. <laughs> So I love it when delays tail out if they go into a kind of a, a mid-range kind of thing and you know the delay evolves. You can see here if I get into the edit menu, I have turned the feedback type to user. Okay, so now if I get into these controls here, you can see I've got the low frequency roll off set at about 250 hertz. I've got the high frequency at about 4K. So that just means that it's closing down the top end treble frequencies and the bottom end low frequencies on the delay repeats. So that's fun stuff to play with. Okay, let's exit out of the edit menu. Let's go on to sound A4. Okay, now this is a simple echo, but with some modulation on the tail. So you'll hear when I let uh, a chord ring out that it sounds like there's some chorusing going on. Pretty lush and beautiful. I remember a good friend of mine saying to me uh, when I asked him if he used chorus, and this is before I knew much about guitar effects, I said, do you use chorus? He said, no, I use modulated delay. And I was like, what does that mean? And it just means that only the delay tails are modulated or kind of have a chorus-like sound on them. And it, it's really neat because you can actually keep your dry sound distinct and clear and then just have the mod on the delay tails. <laughs> So you can adjust the mod by simply uh, bringing up the rate here or turning down the depth. It's the rate and depth controls that really change the sound of the mod. I just cranked it up a bit here. Generally speaking, when you've got a fairly high rate, which I do here, it's set at 50, you want a fairly low depth because what's going to happen is your delay is going to get really seasick really quick. So let's turn up the depth and I'll show you what I mean. So you get some pretty, you know, uh, underwater kind of seasick sounds going there. But a, a higher depth uh, can actually sound really good when you turn the rate way down. So let's turn the rate down to, let's say, about seven. We'll see what this sounds like. Okay, so generally speaking, it's a good rule to follow. Uh, low depth, high rate, or the other way around. High rate low depth, and that's how you're gonna get sort of the most transparent effects, unless you want some really seasick stuff going on. Okay, moving up to preset B1. Now we're getting pretty stereo. What we did for this one is actually use the first delay engine, DDL1, to create a chorus. So we use an extremely short delay time. Left channel set at 15 milliseconds, and right channel is set for an offset of minus five. Okay, so it's gonna be at 10 milliseconds. And then you can see I'm using lots of modulation. If I turn it on and off.
you can hear how stereo and lush it makes the sound. So, you know, you might not need a chorus pedal on your board if you've got the, the EVH delay. DDL number two, we have set for a 370 millisecond uh, echo with some mod, a little bit of mod going on there too. Pretty lush and beautiful. I like it. Preset B02. So for this sound, what we did was actually use each delay engine to create a different sounding delay, and we're using them both at the same time. They're both actually set at the same delay time, which is 446 milliseconds, but then there's an offset of nine milliseconds for each of the delays. So bear with me here. One side's at 446, and the other side is at 455. So different modulation settings, different filter settings, and what you get is a wide split, extremely complex stereo delay sound. Let's go to delay B3. Okay, this is a fun one. For this one, I'm gonna turn on just a little bit of overdrive. Uh, this is a sound uh, that basically has two different delays, a dotted eighth and a quarter note delay, both in series feeding into one another. And this creates an extremely cool effect. Uh, essentially what happens is they pile into one another and when the notes ring out, it almost sounds like a reverb tail. So you can hear the distinct echoes if I play a short clipped chord. But if I was to play something and let it ring out, you're gonna hear the uh, how the tail kind of gets all washed into like a reverb. This can be really, really great as an always on kind of thing to just create a beautiful ambience around your sound. Once again, I've got the mix quite high right now on this preset, but it just sounds really cool. Now while I'm on this sound, it's a good time to show you what changing up the structure of the delays sounds like. So you got a few options in this delay. You can either run the delays in parallel one mode, parallel two mode, or in series. Right now we're in series mode, and that means the delays are feeding into one another and creating that cascading effect. So I'm gonna change this now to be parallel one. Let's hear what happens to the delays. You don't have that cascading effect anymore. You get distinct separate delays, one set for a dotted eighth, one set for a quarter, but without the cascading thing. And this can inspire a completely different kind of playing. <laughs> Let's go to parallel two. In parallel two, basically what happens is one delay is in the left channel, one delay is in the right channel, and they're completely discrete from one another. So once again, a completely different sound, and this would be the way that Ed used the delays in his rig. Two completely discrete mono delays, one in each channel. Once again, parallel two, parallel one, and series. 
preset B04. This is a stereo delay sound. We're using structure parallel two. So this is distinct different delays in the right and left channel. And for this sound, we're actually using um, some filter on the tails. So it just warms up a little bit as the delays ring out essentially. So uh, check that out. I'll turn up the feedback and you can hear what that sounds like. And you can really hear the delays ring out and kind of the filter on the tail. <laughs> Got that really cool resonant thing on the on the tails of the delay. All right, so that's the eight presets created uh, specifically for the unit by the EVH team. We hope these are a great branching off place for your own creativity with this delay. All right, so let's take one of our straight up simple delay presets. I'm talking about preset A02. I'm gonna start with that as a starting point. I'm gonna modify it into something really cool and dimensional. Okay, so here's the sound right now, the starting place. <laughs> Just a pretty straight up mono digital echo. There's no filter, there's no mod, nothing like that. Now in each one of the delay engines, DDL1 and DDL2, you can actually set the right and left delay times for each one of those delay engines to be different if you want to for up to four different delay taps. Okay, right now I'm just using DDL1 for this sound and I have both the right and the left sound set to 400 milliseconds. So it's a straight up mono image. There's no, uh, you know, things bouncing around in the stereo field or anything like that. But let's change that. Okay, so I'm going to push set up here. It's going to take us into this menu. We get in and out. We get master. DDL1, that's what we want. We push set up again. And now we get some options here for uh, first one I'll mess with here is delay type. It's set to stereo right now. I'm going to change that to pan. Right away I'm going to get a stereo image, a ping pong delay. <laughs> Okay, boss calls it pan. I think of it as ping pong as well. Could be could be called either. Back to stereo. Okay, once again, I've got both the right and left delay time set exactly the same, but I can change that. So how do we do that? Back to the main menu here. Now by pushing DDL1 twice, you're gonna see here it changes from red to green on the little LED. And here I'm changing from right channel to left channel. This allows me to set the right and left channel delay times differently. Okay, so if I modify the delay time right now, and then I push this button, right channel, you're gonna see it's at 400, left channel is now at 395. Now I get a stereo image. 400 in one side, 395 in the other side. If I go back in to the menu here, pick DDL1, type, okay, time link, I can set this to off, I can set it to on, or I can set it to something called offset. Right now it's set to off and I've got one time set to 395 and the other side set to 400. But what happens if I tap tempo? They'll both go to whatever you tap them to, okay? And if you want a stereo image, you don't want the delay to collapse down to mono when you tap, we've integrated this offset feature. And the offset means that there will always be a constant offset between the right and left delay times as you see fit. So if you wanna do that, I'm just gonna go here to offset OST, it says there. Next thing allows you to pick how much you wanna offset them. We're gonna offset them by, let's say, seven milliseconds. You can go up to 99 if you want to. And then if I exit out of this menu now, and here I've got a wide stereo image going. If I tap tempo right now, the offset stays and you still get your stereo image, okay? So you've got the ability to either have the same delay time in both channels, a different delay time, or an offset delay time that stays constant when you're tap tempoing. Pretty nice. Okay, so I like this sound basically. I'm gonna speed it back up a little bit. Tap tempo. Let's add some modulation to this. So um, I'm gonna push the mod button here right now. That's gonna turn on your modulation circuit. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna turn up the rate a little bit and we'll bring the depth. Let's bring the depth up to like eight and the rate up to maybe 13. What's that sound like?
Now we're getting some definite mods, some definite, you know, little bit of movement to the sound. And once again, it's stereo. So we're all getting, already getting pretty lush with the sound because I've got the offset going. And uh, so that's pretty cool. It's getting neat. I like it. That's a sine wave right now. I'm going to change that to triangle on the mod just before we move on. So there we go. I tend to like triangle wave mod these days on my modulated delays. It just sounds a little bit smoother and a little more natural to me. Okay, now I'm gonna move up to uh, the filter type here. Now right now it's set for original, but if I uh, change this setting here to user, what it allows me to do then is get some, uh, some different filtering going on on the, on the echo tails. So right now the lows are set to flat. I'm gonna actually take that up. This is in Hertz. So I'm gonna take this up to about 253. Let's go to 315 Hertz. Now as the delay tails out, it's got less lows in the delay tail. All right, you can hear it getting a little bit thinner. Let's crank up the, uh, the feedback a little bit up to say about uh, 45, just to be able to hear that sound a little bit more obviously. Okay, now the high frequencies right now are set to uh, 3.15K. I'm gonna turn those down a little bit to say, let's go to 1.6K. Okay, and then on the next screen here, it allows you to pick uh, how much of that high frequency you're actually rolling off. I'm gonna roll it off a little bit more. So now I've got a tail that filters out into a little, little bit more of a, like a mid-range centric kind of sound um, and just has you know a really nice character to it. I'm gonna turn up the feedback even more so that I get more of that effect. I like where this is going, it sounds really good. Now I think I wanna assign some tap tempo to this. Okay, so if you push the uh, right arrow button and the time button at the same time, you're gonna get this time display, and let's do it again. You can see this now changes to a quarter. Okay, that's an easy way to change from a quarter to an eighth note dot, to a uh, quarter note triplet, so you can just get your tap values by simply pushing that right arrow and the time button. Okay, let's turn on DDL2 and uh, get uh, something else going on that. Let's see what we can come up with. It's set to off, so I'm gonna turn it on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change this to a tap as well. I'm gonna make this an eighth note dot. Okay, the delay's quite loud though, I find, so I'm gonna turn the output down. It's, it's really loud. So let's turn it down to maybe 25. And what about modulation? If I turn that on, it's gonna be crazy with the current setting. But I like the fast rate, so I'm gonna just turn the depth down a little bit. Let's put it around seven. Let's bring the rate up even more to maybe like 50. Thanks so much for watching my video on the SDE 3000 EVH Dual Digital Delay. It was such a rewarding thing to be a part of the process of the creation of this pedal and to be a part of the team. So once again to EVH and Boss, thank you so much.
Please check out the official Boss video for the pedal. It's at the link down in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you right to it. Lots of great historical information there from Yoshi about the original uh, SD3000 delays and the development of those units. And also you'll hear from Matt from EVH about Eddie Van Halen's guitar rig. It's just a really cool watch. Please check it out. I really hope you get a chance to check out the pedal soon and that it sparks your inspiration and creativity. I love the thing. I think it's just awesome and I couldn't be more proud. Take care out there. I am Pete Thorne. Over and out.